Hey guys, Rob Bush here. Out in the garage playing with the window motor in the Arduino. Uh, written up sketch and uh, we're using the LCD display with a keypad and we're trying to make some adjustable timing um, that's actually in microseconds. Uh, 1000 microseconds equals one millisecond. So we're getting really far down there in the fire timing and what we got is for one half of the trigger is fire time one the other half of the trigger and then we can save what we set it at but uh, there's a few bugs in it um, but I'll show you that it runs and I wanted to show you the trigger output as well so let's get it powered up with the battery Arduino's on all we gotta do is kinda get one of these hall effects to go by and She's on her way. Turn on the scope here while it fires up. Well, it's getting to about 2,160 RPM now. But what I've... Here's one issue that I've got with using the LCD and this, the buttons. I don't know if you can hear the motor. You probably should be able to. But I'm going to adjust these buttons you can hear the motor slow down when I scroll through the display it stops doing anything else on the uh, motor firing and triggering but once it's let go and sets for a second it catches up with those readings not too big of a deal we can probably overcome it especially once we find the sweet spot we save it we don't even need the LCD after that the problem I'm having is I'm trying to pulse uh, 500 microseconds and uh, I actually adjusted it down to zero and seen what happened and what happens is the motor uh, locks up it fires and it never shuts off and the problem is that the Hall effects and the magnet on the trigger side the little magnetic wheel in the Hall sensors that's what we're watching on the scope the time that it's up high is actually when the magnets are passing and uh, that's three magnets one hall sensor so each circuit's the same but what's happening here is the uh, the actual time it's taking the magnet to pass the hall sensor is over two milliseconds so that's like over two thousand microseconds and I'm trying to work with five hundred microseconds so the idea I guess is to uh, we gotta write some type of delay in or something that you can fire the motor and then wait for the magnet to pass and then shut it off or some some other some way like that to overcome um, this issue otherwise what happens is uh, it reads it as if it passes write the motor high and when it passes it will write it low and it's too long of a time and it just locks the motor up and keeps the coil on but uh, other than that it runs really smooth like I said it's probably about 2100 something RPM right now we can still adjust a little bit but uh, the problem with the uh, Arduino kind of stopping time to adjust kind of pain in the butt um, so next I gotta rewrite, I gotta figure out some way to uh, work around the 2000 microsecond trigger. Um, got a couple ideas, but uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. This is uh, both sides working, so it's trigger, it's firing six times per rotation. And uh, right now each side the fire time is a little adjustable um, in, in microseconds. So. Anyway, this is Rob Bush. Peace.